This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, what is up guys, Manu from MyScredits. And today I'm going to show you how to change your Android smartphone to an iOS 7 lookalike phone. This is a full video and please do notice that all the links are in the description below. So let's jump right into it. Before going into the video, I want to mention that this this video is only meant for the people who really do want to change their Android smartphone to an iOS 7 lookalike phone. Why do they want to do that? Because of the fact that maybe they have an iPhone, they had an iPhone, and now they want uh, an Android smartphone, but they could not come over to the Android ecosystem because they really like the iOS 7 lookalike style. So please, if you don't want to change your Android smartphone to an iOS 7, comment in the description but comment in the comment section below but please do not give it this uh, dislike because this video is especially meant for the people who really do want to change your Android smartphone to an iOS 7 lookalike phone and with that note let's hop right into the video and change the Android smartphone to an iOS 7 lookalike replica so let's hop right into it so let's hop right into it. There are lots of apps what I'm going to cover in this video. So please check the description below. Everything I telling you about in this video are is in the description below. So for the lock screen, I'm using the iOS 7 lock screen, which is really easy to use. You can access the control center only in the lock screen. But uh, I have also the easy control, which is uh, also the notification center, but I'll be covering that later. So on the iOS 7 lock screen, you could uh, put Wi-Fi on and off, dim the screen and much more. So here you saw the opening the lock screen and here is the eye launcher. You see cool transactions in the eye launcher. This app is no longer existed on the Play Store because of the fact that it was copyright and Apple wanted to pull down this app. But I have fortunately this app download it and it is in the description below so if you want to download do that so for the notification sensor i'm using inoti it is also in the description below so it is really easy to use and it is really the same as the ios 7 one does here i'm using the easy control sensor which is really easy to use it is um, on the play store and um, it is paid or not i'm even not sure but i'll be linking that in the description below so here you see many toggles and um, you pull it from the left and it does not affect on the usual home screen here you see what i'm using for the sms and i'm using high sms ios 7 free one it is really easy to use and it's beautiful Due to the fact that it has ads, it is free on a Play Store, and you could use emojis also if you want to. For the weather, I'm using Yahoo Weather, what I covered in the last episode. I will link this app in the description below, and also the last video where I covered it. For the gallery, I'm using the Quick Pick. It is free on Play Store, and it's really easy to use. It's not the iOS 7 one, but uh, there is no iOS 7 gallery, so you have to be knowledge of that for the mail I'm using Evo mail it is really really beautiful I like it a lot it's fast fluid and the design come on who doesn't like that if you have read the mail just swipe it from the left to right and it is done and if you swipe from the right to left it is deleted and this app is really beautiful as I mentioned to you and it is really easy to use so here I'm showing you how to go back from the page to your main screen you just swipe it from the left to right and if you want to reply just swipe it right for the settings I'm using the eye settings I will be putting that in the description also and also in the down you could see preferences so if you have deleted an icon you could go back to the preferences and also take back the icon that you deleted before so this was the overview and full in-depth video how to change your Android smartphone to an iOS 7 lookalike phone. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like because it really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, do that. I make these awesome videos often 
Nexus 5 officially announced. And before heading out, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsors at Squarespace. A huge thanks goes out to my friends at Squarespace for making this video possible. The absolute easiest way for anyone, literally anyone, even your grandma can do a website if she wants to. With domains, analytics and 24 hour support, they have some really amazing customer support who answers to all of your questions. And if you make a website, it automatically redesigns for your iPad, MacBook or iPhone. It automatically does that. You can't go wrong with Squarespace. Sign up now for a free trial and if you like it, use the coupon code WISE10 and you get off 10%. Yes, you heard it right, 10% off. It's a sweet offer and don't miss it. It only lasts in October. All the links are in the description below.